backlights. I'm using the internal backlight. What it doesn't tell you in the instructions is that these are actually adjustable and it's not really obvious initially. Because when you try to pop it on, it doesn't actually fit. So your first thought as someone who never really builds machines is, I'm after feckin' buying the wrong one. And how, I did about four months of research. So they are actually adjustable. And you see here. So I'm gonna adjust these and get these sitting and I won't bore you watching that. So we shall pause while I do that. So we're using these chaps here for this main board. You also get these chaps. And we're not using them. That's they're for a different a different board, I believe. So let's screw these chaps in. And we're one step closer to this nightmare complete. Nightmare is probably strong but if you're not really a fan of building anything I definitely will be in the camp that if the Mac hardware wasn't such a letdown right now I would just have bought another Mac but um, I don't like the direction they've gone with the, with the new laptops and I didn't really want to buy an old i7 iMac because I don't think they represent value really, the current model. So, next is another silvery thing, I'm sure. This chap here, I believe. Okay, so the next bit is pretty straightforward. You're just popping this little brace, or whatever you would call it, on here. I'm gonna take this off. There's already thermal paste on it. I think if you're gonna be overclocking and stuff, some people say put more thermal paste on. Um, these don't feel tight, but the internet tells me that's okay. And then we're putting these big chaps on. And fun as this is to watch, we will pause it there while I pop these on. <laughs> 